What's up YouTube, this is Groudon Empire and I am here for another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Raiding Battle Spot Single Laddering Series where I take on the online ladder in singles which is 3 versus 3 and as an experienced player that got 1900s plus in X and Y, my goal in this series is to provide high level commentary and gameplay for all of us to benefit from and to become better players. If you are hyped and you like this video, please remember to click that like button as it really, really shows the support for this channel. And I hope you guys enjoy what you're watching. What's up, YouTube? This is Groudon Empire, and I am back for another laddering session of Battle Spot Single. And as you guys can see, this is the same team we used in the last episode, and uh, I. I actually haven't done any games in between uh, because I was busy doing other stuff while the video was rendering and other stuff. Usually I ladder while it's rendering and then I continue to record but uh, I didn't have time to do that so I was like hey might as well just record instead of uh, playing off screen getting higher on the ladder and then recording which I typically do you know. I really like I think it's a lot better and it's a lot more efficient if I want to ladder high to uh, to while the wind like record and then while the video is rendering I will just ladder off screen and then after that I will finish the video and then I'm going to record the next couple of things so uh, I didn't do that because I was busy doing other stuff but anyway we look at our opponent's team right now and we see that they have a uh, stall team and right from the get go all I want to say is Raikou can wreck the team. Actually, you know what? Mm. Huh. Did I just talk about Raikou? Mega Mawile can wreck this team. Actually, no, no. Gotta be careful. Uh, Swampert would be nice for. Actually, alright, okay. Uh, I think I definitely would like to start off with Salamence. Actually, no, no. I mean, I don't know. I don't want Trick Room because uh, Gliscor can stall Trick Room, so Trick Room is not a good option. So I'm definitely going to bring Salamence. Salamence destroys Chansey, Venusaur, and uh, not really Titar. Anyways, I want to start off with the Swampert. Actually, no, no. I want to start off with the Raikou, and then I want to have myself a Swampert. And then I want to have Salamence. Yeah, I'm gonna pick these three. Uh, this is this is gonna be a tough matchup for my team. It really, really is uh, for many reasons. Uh, my opponent has Physical Wall and Gliscor, and I, I don't really have much for that. That's the biggest problem that my team has. And then there's a Skarmory, and you know, I have Raikou for Skarmory, but you know, like Raikou, like it's so dependent. Like, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, what I want to do first turn right now, though, is this is definitely a Mega Slowbro. If I've seen a Mega Slowbro, and I know I've seen a Mega Slowbro, so you know, uh, what I am going to start off by do start off doing is I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind because I think that is my best move because uh, let's think about what Pokemon he probably ended up bringing uh, Swampert like I can go for a Thunderbolt and see what happens now I no wait did I just say he has a Mega Slowbro? maybe he has a Mega Venusaur huh no I think he has a Mega Slowbro he definitely has a Mega Slowbro and so I think he's gonna go out into Titar. So I think my best move is actually to go for a Thunderbolt or a Substitute. I wanna go for a Substitute, predicting him to go out into a Gliscor, uh, and then I can fire off two Hidden Power Ices. What Pokemon is this? Never mind, I was completely wrong. <clears throat> By the way, I apologize for that little, that little throat problem thingy, Baba Jiggy, that just happened. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we see this little uh, pain in the crack. Um, it's, uh, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt it. 
because if it can get paralyzed, that would be extremely awesome. That really, really would. I'm just gonna go for a thunderbolt. I also want, uh, I want, also want HP recovery. Oh my goodness, we have to go versus a stall team this low on the ladder. <sighs> Let me explain to you guys. If I was using my Mega Blaze, well, actually, no, Mega Blaze can struggle versus this too. But Mega, mm, but you see. Uh, Mega Mega Kangaskhan with Earthquake can just Earthquake the Chansey again and again, but it has Evil Light. It's too bulky. Never mind. I don't know. I just Ice Beam these things. Whatever though, I'm just going to go out into Swampert. And uh, we'll see what happens. I, I'm i just going to set up Rocks and Roar. Honestly, I, I don't know what else I should do. No, wait. There's no point in Roaring though. Of course, it's going to Toxic me. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh... I think I'm going to have to go. See, the the the. F you know, it makes me angry. Uh, the fact that my opponent has a uh, slow bro, like it's it's it didn't mega evolve yet. So there's like he's gonna keep on switching in even if I use a roar. He's gonna, he's gonna get regenerated recovery. So it's like, what's the point? There's no point in anything. But it's fine. I want to burn him. Uh, uh, it's a him or a her. It's a her. I want to burn her. Uh, slow bro. Should be slow sis, but alright. I want to burn this thing, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die. I have a serious berry anyway, it's fine. I want to burn it. I want to try to burn it anyway, right? Uh, it's definitely mega. I know it's a mega. Uh, judging from this, the way things happen. I mean, he has a uh, Skarmory, that's the Rocky Helmet user, and no one uses, you know, lefties Pokemon in this format so that's why I predicted him to be this hopefully he gets burned and they'll start roaring him out he doesn't get burned but at least he mega evolved now that he mega evolved I can just keep on switching in and out and I'm gonna get Citrus recovery right now and that's gonna be awesome and uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, roar it's gonna roar this guy I mean I can burn this thing that would actually be amazing if I can burn this thing. Because passive damage is passive damage. No matter what. No matter what universe we're in, passive damage is passive damage. So I might just burn this thing. I want to seriously try to burn this thing. Because Swampert's not going to be doing anything else for me. If this thing can get burned, I'm in such... And of course it doesn't get burned. Water types aren't immune to burn, by the way, guys. If you're wondering, that that's not the case at all. I'm just gonna go for another Scald because I need this thing burned. Uh, 30 plus 30 plus 30, 90 percent. Hopefully, this time it gets burned. Yes, it's burned. Awesome. And it's gonna go for Slack off. Uh, at least it's burned now, right? I'm not gonna switch out into my Salamence just yet because I. Th Think that's not smart. That's that's what I think. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna switch out into my Raikou right now, uh, and then I am going to switch out into. No, should I switch out? No, no I'm gonna go for a straight. I'm straight. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for a straight up Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go for a straight up Thunderbolt. Uh, he might switch out. Yeah, he's gonna switch out. That's fine because he can go out into uh, Chansey. What the hell is this? Yeah, he's gonna switch out into Chansey, and he's gonna take damage. Uh, and w what my goal right now is is to basically. He's hopefully gonna go for a Toxic onto my Mega Salamence. That's what I hope. No, he's not going to. He has no reason to. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Seismic Toss isn't going to KO me. And I'm in good shape, so it's fine. And if he does Toxic me, I have Facade. And that's like the whole thing. That's what I wanted to say. That if I can get a Facade off, like if I get toxic and now I have Facades. Awesome. So what I can do next turn is I can just... Uh, Dragon Dance, and what's going to happen is now I have a plus one aerial eight boosted facade. Alright? 
And nothing is going to want to take that. Nothing at all. Uh, I don't know what Pokemon this is. Is it Glyscore? No, that's not. That's a slow bro. But I'm, t I'm, f I have, I'm. See, and this is, and this guy is exactly why I run facade. You know, something like that wants to toxic me. Something similar to that might want to paralyze me. Something like that might also even burn me. And facade, <clears throat> excuse me so much, guys. My voice, I don't know what is going on. Gets boosted. It's a normal type move, so it gets aerialate boosted, and because it becomes flying type, it gets stab boosted. So right now, I'm at plus one. I'm adamant nature, base 140 or 145. Uh, base uh, stat attack, right? Adamant nature, max attack, uh, status boosted facade, 140 base power attack, then it's aerial 8 boosted, uh, you do the math, plus uh, 21? No, 14, oh my goodness, 28 plus 14, that's, that's, that is uh, 32, that is 42, I don't even know the math right now, that is just insanity. Watch this facade take out a mega slow bro because of the toxic that is insanity now if my opponent has uh, the uh, Skarmory I might I might faint you know I might faint if it has a glide score it can protect and then it can switch out into Tansy and then you know dangerous stuff but basically it's 140 boosted what's 14 times 3 30 plus 12 uh, 42 so what's 140 plus 42 that's 182 so it's basically like using Oh my goodness. A and then stab. Oh my goodness. Oh my. 182 plus. Oh my. Wow. 182 plus stab? Are we. Are, is this real life? Okay. 182 plus 91 because that's what the math is after 1.5 that's 273 he's gonna protect right now but he's not gonna live he can't survive no one's gonna survive a facade and the toxic damage shouldn't take me out unless he gets a double protect if he gets a double protect then uh, he's gonna win otherwise I win uh, what's gonna happen and I think this is my game. This is my game. He just, he, he, if, if he gets the double protect, he wins. But uh, that's going to suck. He doesn't get the double protect. And this powerful facade. Oh my goodness. You guys just saw it right here. Oh my goodness. The power of facade. That's why I run facade, guys. That's exactly why. Flying plus uh, ground coverage. You know, there are very, very few Pokemon that, you know, resist flying plus ground coverage. So double edge plus earthquake. Very, very few Pokemon. And in this metagame, I, it's, it's just not worth running Roost, all right? Or, or a substitute, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's facade. You know, get status. Rotom Wash might be troubling you, right? Because it resists the Earthquake and the Flying type stab. Well, that's fine because get Burn boosted with, from Will O Wisp, and now you have your Burn uh, stat drop negating uh, facade, and you have a boosted facade, and you have your plus one boost with the Dragon Dance, and pretty sure Rotom goes down even though it's resisted. Anyways, we're gonna look for one more game because I really think we should look for one more game. I really, really, really think we should look for one more game. Uh, that was insanity. Oh my goodness. That was absolute insanity. Uh, and that is legit the kind of team you would see on High Ladder. So as I told you guys in the last episode, because the season just started, you're going to see the craziest kinds of things. Uh, you know, people who usually are in the top end of the ladder right now like this guy's probably a 2000 plus level player but right now he's just started playing season 9 so he's at 1500 you know he, he has an earth ring that doesn't mean he's not you know earth ring is uh you know you always see those one pokemon on these teams you don't think they put in work but they're actually like if you build a if you're a high level player you can still put in work with them but yeah yo that facade was absolutely insane wow all right Look at looking at this team. That's definitely a a, a guts 
Earth Ring with Facade because you guys just saw the power of Facade. Oh my goodness. I did the math for you. That that was a base that was after stab and aerialate and the, you know the status boost to Facade. That was a base 273 attack. That is insanity. Absolute insanity. Anyway. Uh, I want stealth. Do I want stealth rock? He that Greninja might have grass knot. See, I hate Greninja. I really, I really, really, really hate Greninja. Um, I can uh, alternatively, I can just start off with Mawile and just fire off attacks. And if I see Talonflame, I can just go out into Heatran and I can do fun things uh, from there as well. Or I can just go out into Raikou. Wait, no, no, that's not a fun time. I can. Hmm, this is a hard one. I can go out into Cresselia as well because of how bulky I am. But then U turns a thing. But let's look at the other Pokemon on the team. Mawile can deal with the Altaria. You know what? I'm definitely bringing Cresselia if I'm bringing Mawile. <laughs> definitely. Oh wait, I have, to, I have to get their team down. Holy. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my God. No. 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 The last Pokemon I'm picking is going to be Heatran because I can't do anything else. Oh my goodness, what the hell was that? I am I am so nervous. <laughs> Man, I apologize, guys. Oh boy. <clears throat> and currently, at the time of me recording this video, uh... Yeah, the earlier, like yesterday's, it's supposed to be yesterday's upload, it's still not uploaded. You know, I tried uploading it and it's not uploaded. Like, it's been two hours or three hours. It's so, like, YouTube has been, I don't know what YouTube is doing, but it's gonna Mega Evolve right now and go straight up for a powerful play rough because nobody wants to eat it. I doubt he's hitting Power Fire. Uh, he's gonna go out into the Aegis Slash. I know it's the Aegis Slash switch. Uh, that's what they do. Um, as long as we attack, we should be fine. Uh, that's what I hope. Uh, and if I can take down this piece of trash shield sword thing, it would be an awesome position. Alright, so... I'm afraid of what this guy is going to do to me. So I'm just going to go for... Should I go for a knockoff? I want to go for a knockoff. He's probably going to go for a King's Shield. Yeah, he goes for a King's Shield. But, uh, I mean, I can just go for knockoff twice. So, I mean, you know, you can do what you want to do, buddy. I'm going to go for knockoff. And... I'm going to go for knockoff again. I really, like... And because he's so fast, because I am a Trick Room Mawile, I'm gonna be, I'm always going to be slower than the slowest Aegis Slash because I'm base 50 speed and you're base 60 speed. So uh, e whether you're fast or slow, it doesn't matter. Mawile will always underspeed you, and uh, I'm at minus two, but that doesn't matter because you're in shield form. <sighs> forget, the, forget about the fact that this is a Mega Mawile. You're just in shield form, so none of that matters. Of course, this is a pain in the crack hole. Uh, I hope you guys, <laughs> you know, cracks like on the street, that, those kind of cracks. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the hell is wrong with me? All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna go on to Cresselia. I'm gonna go for Trick Room and Lunar Dance. Hopefully, good things happen. If I get destroyed by a Crunch and then another Crunch, oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'll be so sad. I'll be so sad. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a trick room and then I'm just gonna go for a lunar dance hey holy crap yeah that had to be a crit there's no way in hell that was not a crit oh my goodness all right what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna go for a lunar dance and that's a good game buddy unless player off misses if player off does miss well I mean, tough luck, right? I like how these two episodes have really showed, you know, Mega Salamence putting in work and then Mega Mawile putting in work. Like, it's just, it's almost as if it's scripted. Almost. 
Of course, you can't script this, so it's whatever. But it's almost as if it's uh, uh, scripted. Crazy stuff, yo. Crazy stuff. So as, again, as long as I can land my play roughs, I should be fine because I even underspeed this thing. Great. So that lands. Awesome. We are in great position to win it. And uh, that's, you know, Greninja doesn't have hidden power fire struggles versus Mega Mawile. Uh, that's just reality. But at the same time, if you don't run hidden power fire, if you run hidden power fire, you lose the Greninja speed tie. Other things that happen if you run Hidden Power Fire is that you lose out from other moves, and that's really... Now, that's the best problem in, to, to have in Pokemon. Anyway, forget about that. What I'm going to go for is I'm just going to go for a... That was two turns. Okay, I'm going to go for a play rough because I want to make sure I can, like, KO this thing. Uh, and the reason I didn't go for knockoff is because I still have two more turns of Trick Room, so if I did miss that, I could have went for a knockoff next turn, or another play rough, and then the turn after that I could have went for a Sucker Punch, and it would still be fine. So, nice and 2-0, nice and 2-0, two games in a row. I mean, granted, again, we are at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, I, I know this is the beginning of the season, but, uh, but still, um, uh, I'm using a, a good team now. When I was using the other team, that was a bad team. Uh, legit, that was a really bad team. And uh, I'm glad I'm not using that team anymore because I'm having so much fun using this team. Seeing the absurdity of Facade, uh, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. And then just putting in work with Trick or Mawa, I just, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys loved it too. If you did, you know, remember to click that like button and uh, check out the rest of the channel. Hopefully you'll like the other stuff and subscribe if you're excited for more stuff. This is Groudon Empire. Peace out.